last time on White Dills Inc. Look at that, that beast. At Whitetails Inc., we do all the work and don't hunt with outfitters or guides on huge pieces of managed property. We're do-it-yourselfers just like you. We're not professional athletes but sometimes we feel like professional tree trimmers. We have extremely high standards and only compete with ourselves. I think I just passed about a thousand inches. I am. <laughs> we don't have any cool catchphrase. Let's party. Or feel the need to use face paint to fit in. We only use gear that works and not because somebody's paying us to do so. The only thing that makes us special is our level of dedication. Well, except that Dallas Fort Worth wears a cape and is missing his trigger finger. Welcome to Whitetails Inc. Thanks for holding them down for me, guys. Yes, 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 yes.
What a couple days of turkey hunting, my god. Holy crap, when I, I'm not joking, yeah. When I, um, he, uh, I, uh, they're still over there. Me and Eddie have had a couple days of awesome turkey hunting. Finally getting some uh, turkeys coming out and actually putting on a little bit of a show. And this blind's got such a big open front window. You think they've been seeing us. So I came to full draw a good uh, probably 20, 30 seconds before I saw them. And um, came in and, man, I was hoping for a, a stationary shot. I don't even remember shooting again. <laughs> But uh, my first initial gut was that I hit a little, hit a little bit low, and uh, heck, he didn't, uh, he didn't make it 80 yards, I don't think. No. And that uh, the other one got on top of him. I've never seen any of this before, so this is like <laughs> bananas. But we were using um, two hens and that uh, little runt decoy. We didn't know if our other decoy had been scaring him or not, but uh, that's two big toms. For me in two days, dude. Yeah. And Eddie calls him in. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> dude. dude, let's go look at a turkey, man. Yeah. There he is right there. There ain't nothing better than watching one drop. There ain't nothing better. <sighs> what a beautiful barn. Not too shabby, brother. Not too shabby. Three birds down in two days. That is just insane, man. These are all worn down just like yours. Yep. <laughs> Dude, this turkey hunting thing is freaking awesome. It is so much fun. These birds are the craziest, goofiest. Not too bad, dude. Oh my God, I can't believe it. We're gonna have a hell of a load to take out of here today. <laughs> that is just insane, man. There was another one, there was three of them that came in and um, honestly, like looking at them, they were all studs. One of them in particular had a big old map, natted up old beard. And just as I told uh, Eddie, I'm like, <laughs> Whichever one gives me a good shot, and this one gave me the best opportunity, so it's the one I took, but... <sighs> Man, freaking bananas. That other turkey got right up on top of it. That's why all these feathers are all out of it. It was pecking at it. I've never seen anything like it. I've seen it on TV before, but... Dude, is that cool or what? Beautiful fan, too, eh? Yeah, beautiful. Yay! I like shooting turkeys. I don't even know what to say. I'm kind of like, I don't really know what to say during turkey interviews because I'm not much of a turkey hunter, but I'm getting there, I guess, eh? Holy smokes. <sighs> yeah, I don't even know what to say, man. What can I say? My dream turkey season was over. What a way to end a hard week of hunting. I am truly blessed. With my turkey season complete, it was time for the corn gobbler to step up to the plate. It is very likely that I'm married to the corn gobbler by the time you see this. Just to let you know, this turkey season was actually a test to determine whether the corn gobbler had what it take to become Mrs. Corn Gobbler. <laughs> that was a very good one. No, do a better one. <sighs> it's pretty foggy out there. 
this morning. It's my first time to turkey hunt this year. Thankfully, there's no mice in the blind with us, but the fog lifted a little bit, and I was able to see a big male turkey. What are they called? Tom. A Tom turkey. And a, and a hen. And as we grabbed the binocs, we realized they were someone else's decoys. How far away are they? A hundred yards. So, they're canning corner a hundred yards from us. We can't see the hunter. But there is a Tom coming in, so hopefully he comes to us and not to the other guy. Kitty and I are sitting here. And there are some turkeys coming through the fog here. A couple of hens, and there's a Tom strut behind them. They're kind of naturally coming this way. So we're going to let them. we got some other hunter over here, but it is what it is. We're just going to let them wait and see what happens. But the big Tom's right out over here, strut right now. So, okay. The Tom down here has gone crazy, and she is driving me crazy. And, and he's driving me crazy. Go, go. Somebody, somebody has been turkey hunting twice and is an expert. And it ain't me. It's it's a really weird morning. Not only do we have another dude, a <laughs> hundred yards from us. But it's extremely foggy. And this gobbler down here we watched early this morning, he's with at least one head. He was chasing around like a buck and rut. And uh, he is going crazy. He's gobbling his head off down there. But they're they work their way to the opposite corner. I don't they're not coming this way, so not yet. I know there's a way you can call ends in, like by doing a, a cluck that gets me angry, but I don't know how to do that, so we're going to just be patient, and the sun's coming up and burning this uh, fog off here. Because right now, I'm, I'm guessing turkeys are probably a little bit spooky when it's foggy, just because they can't see as well. So, um, we're just going to sit tight and hope uh, the corn gobbler has some leftover luck from when she got her ring. Are they? Not necessarily. They're just feeding right now. Aren't they pretty? Huh? It's pretty cool, huh? Just relax, Kitty. He heard, he heard us the first time, a couple times. You gotta let them make the next move sometimes. Katie, he's right there. No, he ain't. He wouldn't go back in the other field when he knows there's other girls over here. But I don't think he can see him. Yes, he can. Not only can he see him, but he's up here. I thought it was pretty cool. I thought he was going to come and I was going to kill him. But he may swing back around. Could he swing back around? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's just... We had, uh, we watched that Tom work from an adjacent field over here. And he was with two hens. Um, and he was just putting on the show. He's a beautiful dog. He's a stud. I've never seen one like that get so big. So we're hearing gunshots in the Yeah, background. heard a couple of shots here in the last few minutes. So we, um, hopefully, well, hopefully, still see another one. But, uh, <laughs> I got pretty nervous. My heart started racing. <laughs> Wait till, wait till he's right here, man. You're gonna poop. So, uh, no matter what, we're not, we're not gonna hunt this farm again. Unfortunately, we've got another hunter here, and I'm not dealing with that crap. So, what we are gonna do is, uh, hopefully, 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 get a crack at one uh, tonight. This is too short. I don't know why anybody would make one that you couldn't use out of a sitting position. So, 
don't buy this one. It's looking ridiculous. Okay. Anybody who's taken your girlfriend's wife's fiance's hunting for the first two times? Yeah. Attempted murder. Fiance. One fiance. 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 He's crazy. And now, and you wonder why I haven't seen any turkeys. We've got him singing, shooting bullets. The way I look look at it is I'm tagged out, so. That's called selfishness. Ladies first, right? She wanted to leave. I called like crazy because I figured what else do we have to lose? And now she's mad because she wanted to leave. That's what it, that's what it feels like to be a loser. I changed my mind when I saw the deer and the bunny. She changed her mind when I told her that she was never going to kill a turkey on, on the inside, from the inside of the well. Okay, we could think, we could potentially right. kill a turkey from our house. Hang but on. I think Eddie was the good luck charm, and you didn't let me out when Eddie was here. No, we were hunting the mornings, and mornings are when you need to be out. What were we doing yesterday morning, Cage? Going to church, and this morning we I was at work. we could have hunted before church. Mr. Tell them, I tell them, tell them the real reason we didn't go. We I didn't was go really hunting. Tired and I thought the responsible thing to do was to uh, rest up before a long walk. Responsible to who? The turkeys? To my job. You just saved a turkey's life because I know, I know. One more morning, we could have gotten one killed. Me and Eddie were just we were pounding them every it's day. Eddie, it's Eddie's the yeah, good luck charm. Yeah, what is that? And you'll see got, in the footage. I think you'll see in the footage. Flying around here and pregnant's ex, like, I think no. you'll see in the footage that uh, I called my share a giant gabbler's in. Got the decoys in the perfect position. Pregnant. Why don't you really tell them why you want to leave? It's called a little Italian. There is some good leftover Italian, but actually the real housewives of Orange County are on tonight and I don't want to mess up. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> You're the one who wants to go, Katie. I'm just joking. Can I have my stick back, though? You're such a... I'm not done calling yet. Uh, yeah, you're done calling. I feel like this is this is how Jots must feel when he's got that calling rush, and all he wants to do is call, call, It's an addiction. Call, you have to call, be careful. No, no. I might put a needle right on the end of the old crook here. I'm just to be doing... Needless to say, the corn gobbler would not get her turkey tom this year but she was able to snag me. So she's got that going for her, which is nice. I changed my mind. I kind of really want a turkey. White Knuckle Productions is proud to announce the release of our sixth whitetail bow hunting DVD, Never Ending Season. Check out the following trailer showing the highlights of our new DVD. It's wicked rad and you need to own it. Thank you everyone for your support. We are White Tails Inc. Where do I even start? Well, I guess these days, I feel like we never really stop. Immediately following hunting season, we start hitting trade shows, shed hunting, DVD editing, turkey hunting, summer scouting, and filming the Velvet Rut. Not too long after, we're setting and checking trail cameras, trimming shooting lanes, setting stands, and before you know it, 
or all perched in a tree or in a blind somewhere in the wonderful world of the whitetail. All the while, Kyle and I are also producing the Whitetails Inc. web show and launching new episodes all the time. When looking around today's hunting industry, I wouldn't trade the guys on our crew for anybody. We have some of the most seasoned veterans, hardest working and straight up killing machines of any team out there. We are also committed to management and are okay with having fewer kills in our videos if it just means the chance at a truly mature animal. We are who we are. We hunt for ourselves. And our season is the never-ending season.